Network Hardware Components. Your network interface card, for short NIC, connects your computer to the network, either by a cable or wireless technology. Most computers today, whether they be desktop or mobile, have a network interface card already installed. However, external NIC cards, usually for mobile devices, can be inserted into PCM CIA slots on the side of the laptop, say. There are different types of network interface cards. NIC cards can be used on wired networks, but there are wireless NIC cards which can transmit and receive data. Infrared NIC cards that send signals like a TV remote and radiographic NIC cards that use an antenna to send and receive radio waves similar to a mobile phone. Finally, to allow data to get to the correct computer on a network, each network interface card has its own serial number called a MAC address. MAC standing for Media Access Control. The quality of the cable and the quality of the network interface card will determine the speed of the network. A switch is a device used on a computer network to physically connect devices together. Many cables can be connected to a switch to allow network devices to communicate with each other. How a switch connects devices can be done in one of two ways. The first method is using a matrix approach. In a matrix approach, the multiple channels in a switch will all be paired into an input and output channel. So if data comes into a channel, it will th leave through its paired output channel to a specific computer. So it is a matter of following the connection. A shared memory approach is when data enters the switch. The switch will look at its memory to see where this data needs to go. The switch will then send this data through the correct output channel. Because messages are being sent directly to the intended computer, instead of each message being broadcast to all computers on a network, which a hub device would do, it means with a switch less data traffic is on the network so the network runs more quickly. A router is able to connect lots of computers and allow them to have access to the internet. Routers also have the job of directing data in the most efficient way to the correct network. So routers also connect networks. A router is able to connect lots of devices such as office computers or devices in the home and allow them all at the same time have access to the internet either through a cable or DSL modem. On large scale networks such as WANs the job of the router is to connect these various networks and ensure messages sent through the router are sent on the most efficient path. Routers can connect between 2 and 250 computers. Wireless routers are very common in the home and act as a wireless access point as well. Some routers have additional functionality such as printer servers. A modem is a hardware device that enables a computer to send and receive information over telephone lines by converting the digital data used by your computer into an analog signal used on phone lines and then converting it back to digital once received on the other end. Modem is short for modulator demodulator. Modulation is converting data to analog signal whereas demodulation is converting an analog signal to data. Analog signals are a continuous electric current that will vary in intensity depending on the loudness of the voice. 
Digital signals, on the other hand, are non-continuous currents, so communication is done with varying pulses of current. So a modem is needed because a computer does not understand an analog wave and digital data cannot be sent down telephone lines. A bridge connects similar networks. The term similar networks means that networks use the same rules for communication. The technical term is protocols. A bridge is also able to recognize messages on the network and pass those messages onto other devices or nodes on other networks. One example might be where we have two separate companies, one being a textile company, the other an accounts firm. Because these two companies have the same network setup and protocols, a bridge device can connect these two networks. So the clothes designer can send his costings to the accounts firm. A second example is again there are two networks. Computers on one are connected with cables and in the other are connected using wireless technology. The wired computers can only communicate with other wired computers and the wireless computers can only communicate with other wireless computers. With a network bridge, all the computers can communicate with each other. Your wireless access point, also called WAP or APP, are special devices on a wireless network which send and receive radio signals. These devices are mostly found in the home and small businesses. WAP devices have an antenna and a network adapter. A firewall can either be software within a router or a separate device that sits between the router and the network. The purpose of the firewall is to be a gatekeeper, stopping bad things like denial of service attacks, DOS, entering the network, and possible sensitive information leaving the network. Firewalls work in one of two ways. A packet level firewall will look at every packet of data and examine the source and destination of each packet. The firewall has rules given to it, so packets will be entered or stopped based on these rules. An application level firewall is more complicated to install. Here the user needs to log into the firewall and is only allowed access to certain areas of the network depending on the user's level of security clearance. 